How are we looking here? Stinky though. That's just the stuff on the side of the frog. No issues with lamini no. stretch. No. Okay. He's taking percent every day. Is he? Yeah. Just he just tested for early the cushions. cushings, but yeah. we're treating them. Your poor back. Yeah, my back's good. <laughs> so poor. So if you, he could, imp if there could be an improvement to his foot, what would it look like? Naturally, you know what I mean. Yeah, like. Are you recording all of them? You're not. I'm gonna actually. There'll be no volume on this. Please. I mute it out completely. No, you're just doing all your maintenance. I mean, I nothing on my end. I don't see anything wrong with his feet. Okay. It's just maintenance care, you know. Feet and teeth have never been my thing. Yeah, no, you know, keep I keep up on his scheduling with his trimming. Just maintenance, preventative maintenance. No, there's nothing wrong with his feet. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Horses that needed correction, you know, corrective shoeing and pads and blah, 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 blah. Of course. Straightforward trim. I feel like back then in the 80s and 90s, plus the fact that I was showing extensively, all my horses were shod. Well, you're getting more out of the horse. The horse is going to be more forward. And you're going to perform at a higher level with the protection of the feet. Right. When I think about how high maintenance they were, you know, even right down to like, I was thinking about my spring laundry bill for them that was always over a thousand dollars because they wore, their tails were never let down. They were always in tail bags and they wore hoods and ugh. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't do that anymore. Crook my nose younger. Oh, my so nose, you probably my size deviated. Up to begin with. Yep. Same. But it, um, I have allergies. I've seen some allergies. And there's definitely something floating around. Yeah. Is that a bruise? Yeah, it's still a bruise. Mm. Yep. Welcome to Connecticut and the Rocks. Oh my god, this place is as bad as Chaplin. Oh, they're all. I was like. Let's just get out of here, Mark. Maybe trying to put those step-ins out there to let him go out and graze the grass forget it right. they're all like hanging on to a little rock
What's going on? Huh? What's going on? What? Do you want to say hello? Say hello. <laughs> I'm going out of here. Let me out of this jail. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it. That's a good man. You just gotta relax. Enjoy your day. Dry off. The fans are blowing on you. That's just so comfy, comfy, comfy. Yeah. So comfortable. You didn't want to stay in your paddock either. You were anxious to get out. You were, I know. You drank fast, so that's good. I love you guys. And now, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Shagbark Lumber and Farm Supply in East Haddam, Connecticut. Thanks, Shagbark. At Shagbark Lumber and Feed, they've got everything your horse needs to thrive. From high quality grain and fresh hay to soft shavings and premium supplements, they've got you covered. Whether you're stocking up on grooming supplies or searching for the perfect feed, Shagbark is your one-stop shop for all things equine. Trust them to keep your horses happy and healthy, just like I do for my Dakota. Visit Shagbark Lumber and Feed today and experience the difference for yourself.